Because my work is influenced by nature, culture, clash, and the idea of, of the Dionysian myth and harvest, there's always been a reference to the environment and to nature. What I've done for this exhibition is um, actually two pieces. One of them has been ongoing for, for many years, since I believe 2014, The Signal and the Noise, and it changes with each venue. It's um, been important in my work for a long time to show the evolution of the idea and not just the end product. And this evolution comes from the fact that I start with a small piece and then I build out from that. The materials have a lot to do with the process and are a part of the process. I do not go to an image with a particular idea. I use a pre-existing form, either an abstract form or a piece of rectilinear wood, and then find the organic form within that space. For example, the signal in the noise has several block prints in it, pieces of block prints that are added as I find the image, and then I draw out from them. And this is a policy I've had for a while. It's part of the conceptual process. For those that are not familiar with the myth of Dionysus, Dionysus is the god of harvest, wine, and music and festivities. The Greeks believed that to cut back the vine at the end of the season, till it looks like it's dead, will mean that it will double in growth the following season. So they believe that out of sacrifice, the community would actually have a better life. So this has become a metaphor for my work and for the creative process, that out of sacrificing off something that the artist becomes too comfortable with, it allows you to be more creative and have yet another rebirth. The piece that I've been working on here at the Spencer Museum a long night's journey in today. It originated from a drawing that I did that was eight feet tall and eight feet wide. It's in the very center of this installation. Um, when I finally landed on the black paper around the initial drawing, I started to draw the tree. The tree is engulfing this mechanical head-like or heart-like form that's lying in the, it's like an abandoned piece of machinery. Then I started adding wood and working on trees that are somewhat animated and anthropomorphic, standing on the sides. And then when I came to the museum, we added the aluminum. And I'm now drawing out from the aluminum. I've been able to establish a sense of deja vu in the work. Because I come to the work without a specific idea of where it's going, I feel like I'm entering the piece kind of on a subliminal level. I'm finding it as I go. And I'm hoping that by doing that for myself, that when the piece is ultimately developed, that a viewer can come in and establish their own subliminal references. I'd like them to have a sense of the machine the sense of nature and culture, and also come to it with their own narrative. And I also believe that there is not just one resolution to a work of art. There are many resolutions that it will have a life that continues forever. And it can stop and start at any point. And I like sharing that.